Good morning. Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, the last day of April. Can you believe it? No. Tomorrow is May. Oh my god. Where gosh. did April go? Tomorrow's May Day. I feel like it just I don't know. April. It's 30 days behind us, that's for sure. <laughs> well, Heather has been filling in for Amanda all week and of, of course, every morning when you're going to go on camera, you have conversations about your hairstyle. Yes, we do. Well, we found some interesting tidbits about what people will do for a great do. <laughs> and they're pretty surprising. I just have to read a couple of these. 19% of people actually say they are more productive at work when they're having a good hair day. Really? And 18% of people say that they are nicer to others when their do is doing what they want it to do. Okay, maybe that's why I'm cranky today. <laughs> because I did my hair three times and when I left it was this perfect little bump, but now it's like flattened out. So <laughs> sorry everybody if I'm cranky today. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's amazing what people would give up for a good hair day. 46% of people say they would give up their daily coffee in exchange for a good hair day. Absolutely not. And 24% would close up all their social media accounts. Absolutely not. I, I mean, I can't even believe those numbers. Wow, but that's, we found that's them on impressive. The, today is a hairstyle appreciation day. That's why we read those facts. All right. I love it. But you found something interesting on the internet that has to do with not just hairstyles, but the way women look. Yeah, well, I found it very interesting, obviously, on social media, my Facebook feed, I saw this. And, you know, we talk about how Photoshop these days mm. alters, you know, even beautiful, thin models. They get altered in Photoshop right. for magazines and, and actresses. We know this is a big problem now. But I found a website called Distractify that actually shows those famous pinup photos mm. from the 30s and 40s that we know so well, the photos that were the inspiration for these pinup shots, and you can see even before Photoshop, they they made some changes to these girls so, when they were drawing them. So these the the photos on the left are actual photos, and then the shots on the right are painted. Exactly. And the painters have taken creative license and just added a little here and taken away a little there. Exactly. Well, you know what I love about this though is that they actually do add some. So now we see we're always you know actresses are they're taking away stuff. They're giving them skinnier waists mm -hmm. and skinnier legs, but they've actually added some to some of these girls, which I like. Um, well, this one is especially what you're talking about. Yeah. The breasts are just a little bit bigger on the right-hand side. Well, even her arm and, and back, you know, they, they didn't make her really tiny. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we're doing the magazines these days. They, they wanted them to look like real curvy women. Right. Which is, you know, attractive, I think, still. But being it, a curvy woman myself. It is interesting, like the original photoshopping with a paintbrush. Is, isn't it? Back all the way from the 30s and 40s, they've been doing it. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's all very interesting, and we have a very interesting show for you today. Coming up, we're going to get a peek at a spring fashion show put on by local students. Plus, do you know how to be a savvy shopper? Well, we'll tell you about one Tucson woman's mission to save money. That's coming up right after this.